This land is your land, this land is my land From California to the New York Island From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters This land was made for you and me I've roamed and rambled, I've followed my footsteps to the sparkling sands of her diamond desert and all around me a voice was sounding this land was made for you and me this land is your land this land is my land from california to the new york islands from the redwood forest to the gulf stream waters this land was made for you and me. This land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. I've roamed and rambled, I've followed my footsteps To the sparkling sands of her diamond desert And all around me a voice was sounding This land was made for you and me This land is your land, this land is my land From California to the New York Island from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters This land was made for you and me This land is your land, this land is my land From California to the New York Island From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters This land was made for you and me This land was made for you and me Lee Wick called me 
and congratulated me on the race. And I just first want to say uh, what a worthy opponent he was. Uh, we had a uh, very congenial race compared to some of the races across the state. And I thank him for that. He offered his support. And uh, I look forward to serving him and all of the 4th District of Arkansas. You have worked hard. You have given me something sacred, and that is your trust. Your trust that I will represent you in the best interest of the 4th District, our state, and our nation. I pledge to you that I will honor your trust. I will work hard for you, and I will courageously represent you as your congressman in Washington, D.C. We face major issues and massive obstacles in our country today. From the economy, to health care, to our basic freedoms, our way of life is being challenged both domestically and abroad. We have a broken government that seems to be more about creating problems and maximizing hassles than solving them. The world around us can be scary because we see the uncertainty of the future and we fear for our country and our posterity. Some have said that courage is not being afraid, but I disagree. I say that courage is being afraid but doing the right thing anyway. Right. Yeah. Courage to face our challenges. And the beauty is that we have that courage. It's in our American DNA. It's emboldened in our faith in God. Right. It's that feeling in our guts that we must go forward despite the odds because the price of defeat is too high and the hope of the future depends upon our success. It's that type of true courage our founders exhibited when they pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor with their firm reliance on the protection of divine providence. It's that courage that you have helped me to garner, and I will take it with me as I fight for you in our future. Thank you. There's too many people to say thank you to, and I'm probably going to get in trouble by starting and naming some, but I'm going to try my best to say thank you. Thank you first to all the voters who have given me your trust in this opportunity. Thank you to my campaign staff and volunteers. From waving signs in the rain today, to walking in parades in the heat of the summer, to making calls, going door to door, and putting up signs, you've put out the extra effort. 